Hey boys, got a video request, I guess, uh, from Papa Charlie. He says, hello, Mr. Radionaut 63 Would you mind sharing the preamp circuit? It looks like a very neat circuit and a good job you did. Thank you. And I said to him, I said, uh, I'll upload a video regarding the circuit later today after work. Hang tight. And he said, thank you, sir. I very much enjoy your informative videos. I've watched a lot of your CB and ham uh, repair videos over the years. Thank you. I said, thank you very much for your continued support. So, I guess this is a video response for Papa Charlie, as well as a shout-out video, I guess, as well. <laughs> so, there you go. Yeah. Video, uh, video responses is always nice. So, anybody got any ideas for videos? Well, come on. Pop up the video, put uh, put it in the comments below, and we'll get some videos uploaded for you guys. Anyways, so, uh, Papa Charlie, this video of my sonny boy is for you. And it's about the DX394 and the 2N, or I should say, 2, 2N3904 two uh, uh, transistor preamplifier, receive amp. Um, I was talking to Carl uh, earlier today. And he says, yes, my son, go right ahead and share away at, at the circuit. So, I'll just show you again how the uh, how well it works. Or not work, I guess. It all depends on who's watching, I suppose. But right now, we signal at about an S9. And now we'll turn the preamp on, and you'll just watch. And you can see it doesn't generate noise. So the circuit is quite simple. I'll just bring it up on the computer here. Right quick. Alright, so here is the circuit provided by uh, Carol Bully. I uh, read, I've done the circuit many times and it works very well. So just follow these wiring diagrams here and you'll be fine. This is exactly how I got it built into DX394. Got your uh, antenna input and your antenna output. And of course on the right hand, right bottom corner is the values for the resistors. Or I should say color codes for each resistor. And the resistors are marked R1, 2, 3, and 4. And they correspond to down below. So that is the circuit. Keep it up here for a minute or two. There we go. And what I do to put it in DX394. I put a switch in the back of her to pull switch and that there is how she's configured so easy anyways hope that answers some questions for you and thanks for the uh, for watching the videos over the years. Continued support is definitely appreciated. And I thank you very much. Hey guys. All the best. 
173.